Today I'm going to tell you what are the most profitable niche in blockchain development. I'll break down each niche and show you exactly how to position yourself. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. So the best way to stay poor and unemployed is to be a generalist. The blockchain space is huge. If you just describe yourself as a blockchain developer, it doesn't mean much. There are hundreds of sub niches, but not all niches are equally profitable. After working with hundreds of developers and companies, I've identified the most lucrative opportunities. I'll show you where the real money is, what skills you need, and how to position yourself. So the first niche is DeFi. DeFi or decentralized finance is the first use case for blockchain right now. Your job as a DeFi developer will be to design and code DeFi protocols with a heavy emphasis on smart contract development. As a DeFi specialist, you can earn anywhere between 100k to 250k. You can stand out if you have a technical background plus some knowledge in DeFi. The absolute best is if you worked in the finance industry before as a developer, DeFi projects will love you. It can also help if you are knowledgeable in finance and crypto market. It's also very valuable if you are knowledgeable in smart contract security because DeFi protocols want to make sure that you are able to create safe smart contracts. The best way to specialize in DeFi is to identify a growing trend and specialize in it. You pick the top protocol of this category, then you study the smart contracts on GitHub, you make sure you understand how they work, then you build a project to integrate with this protocol to show that you understand it. So in the DeFi industry, there are many different projects. Which one should you pick? Most protocols are just forks of other protocols. Only a few protocols really innovate and create something new. So you should focus on these few projects that really innovate. And right now the hottest protocol is called Polymarket. Polymarket is a prediction market. It got famous during the US election for accurately predicting the winner. They raise $70 million and they are hiring a lot of developers. But it's not just Polymarket. Polymarket set in motion a new trend, prediction markets. Right now, there are dozens of other protocols that try to be the next big prediction market. Some of them are forks of Polymarket and some are different. So if you become a specialist in Polymarket, you will make yourself really attractive to all these companies. The next niche is security. Every year, hackers steal billions of dollars from smart contracts. As a security expert, your job will be to keep smart contracts safe. You do this by studying smart contracts to find security vulnerabilities so that we can fix them ahead of time. This is what we call a smart contract audit. This is the highest paid skill in blockchain. Blockchain companies pay between 200 to 400K for security expert and it keeps growing. Top security auditors are in very high demand. It can help if you have a background in smart contract development or Web2 security, but you can also start from scratch. To become a security specialist, you have to learn smart contract development, learn audit tools like Slither or Mithril. You have to learn typical smart contract vulnerabilities and how to fix them. You have to study smart contract hacks and you have to participate in competitive audits where you audit smart contracts with other security auditors. It's usually easier to start like this. And after once you have enough visibility on the market, you can eventually do your own audit just by yourself. So the next niche for blockchain developers is crypto trading bots and MEV. Your job as an MEV specialist is either to create trading bots or make sure that a smart contract is protected against trading bots. The companies that hire MEV specialists are hedge funds that want to run trading bots, DeFi protocols that want to make sure they are protected against MEV, or security auditors that want to make sure their customers are protected against MEV. 
there are two ways to make money as an MEV specialist. You can either make money from your own trading bot, so it can go really high. Some people make six figure per month running their trading bot, but it's not easy. Or you can work as an MEV specialist for a company. So in this case, you can make anywhere between 150 to 250K. To become an MEV specialist, you will need to understand a few things like Solidity, the EVM, which is the part of the blockchain that processes Solidity code, the mempool, that's the list of pending transactions on the blockchain, trading APIs of centralized exchanges like Binance or Coinbase, gas optimization, because transaction fees can make your trading bot not profitable. You will need to know low-level languages like Go or Rust as your trading bot needs to be fast. And you also need to know the most popular DeFi protocols as you will write code that use these protocols. Here are a couple of examples of products that you will make as an MEV specialist. For example, arbitrage bots between DEXs, sandwich trading bot, or flash loan trading bots. The next way to specialize is smart contract development. As a smart contract developer, your job is to design and code smart contracts. For example, you can create DeFi or NFT protocols. As a smart contract developer, you can make anywhere between 100 to 300K per year. To become a smart contract developer, you have to study Solidity, the language for smart contracts, smart contract frameworks like Foundry, gas optimization, how the blockchain work, the EVM, security as smart contract developers are expected to produce safe code, token and NFT standards like ERC20 or ERC721, and finally DeFi and NFT as you will be expected to understand the main protocols. The next way to specialize is full stack blockchain development. As a full stack blockchain developer, you either have to build a whole blockchain application, front end plus smart contract, or just a front end that integrates with a smart contract. Usually that's what people mean by full stack blockchain developer. As a full stack blockchain developer, you can make anywhere between 100 to 200K per year. It's a great starting point for web two developers who want to transition to blockchain. In terms of skill, you will have to master all the technologies of Web2 like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. You will also need to have a basic understanding of smart contract development like Solidity. And you will also have to learn how to interface with smart contracts using wallets like MetaMask and blockchain APIs like Infura or QuickNode. Okay, so how can you choose among all these specializations? First, you have to see where you are starting from. So there are some trajectories that are more or less easy depending on where you're starting from. For example, if you are a Web2 developer, the easiest path is to become a full stack blockchain developer. If you are a Web2 security specialist, the easiest path is to become a Web3 security auditor. But your starting point shouldn't be the only criteria. For example, if you are a Web2 developer and you really want to be a security auditor, just go for it. Just be aware that compared to Web2 security specialists, you are at a slight disadvantage and you will have to work a little bit harder. That's it. Another piece of advice is don't just consider the salary because you need to be actually interested in what you do. When you specialize, there are two dimensions. One is the technical specialization like full stack blockchain development or smart contract development. And the other dimension is the use case like DeFi. It's best to combine these two dimensions. For example, you can be a full stack blockchain developer specialized in DeFi and not just a full stack blockchain developer. The more specific, the smaller your target market, but the more attractive you become for this target market. And usually it's better compared to having a larger target market, but being less attractive. So how can you acquire the required skills for this different specialization? The best way is to challenge yourself with projects. And I'm building a brand new blockchain education platform, the 30 Day Academy. It will be released for Black Friday on November 29. So to get the special Black Friday deal of the launch event, register down below. That's it for today. Bye.